Fox G, 4592, say my aunt. Say my aunt. And this is the word for signs. <clears throat> It says supernaturally miracle sign token wonder. So we can look at the ones that apply for this scripture, which is supernaturally or wonder. And it says of signs portending remarkable events soon to happen. A sign prodigy portent an unusual occurrence transcending the common course of nature. St. Luke chapter 21 verse 25 And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity the sea and the waves ruin the men's hearts filling them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of heaven shall be shaken Giving all praises on our glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham, Boka Kodash. Double honor to mighty cheers, the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the Akim worldwide that are sincere and serious in doing the will of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham, Boka Kodash. Second Peter chapter one verse one and two to you all. Yes, other disciple Kosha Banyame and just a um, quick video to the spirit. This is an image of the um, the sun and the the sun is um, in a solar minimum, meaning um, there's less activity going on in the sun right now. All right less activity going on in the sun right now as um these scientists and nasa have um been noticing right um what does he get here on jesus christ it's a lot about that it wasn't even there. Right, okay. Uh, the sun is experiencing a less active phase called solar minimum. Solar minimum. Alright. Solar minimum. You see? Right? So there's less activity being displayed by the sun. And this is a sign from Yahweh to his son Yahweh Shai because nothing does nothing there's no coincidence, okay? Everything is controlled. You see? Right. By the Heavenly Father and his only begotten son. Alright. Um there is a sign that solar minimum is on the way respaceweather.com so far this year the sun has been blind 76 percent of the time a rate surpassed only once before in the space age last year 2019 the sun was blank 77 percent of the time two consecutive years of record setting spot spotlessness as up to very deep solar minimum indeed all right uh, let me get to the point here so like here all right so getting to the major point it says um
good. So it's here, it's here. Let me get here. The word favoring is used advisedly in the experiments. It's been of the dice an increase in the likelihood of these effects were accounting for less than one standard deviation of the ver variability a result from an observation as well locally it can account for 15 to 20 percent of rainfall totals the influence also seems to have been modified by global warming and so its effectiveness effectiveness may change with time the impact of the solar cycle on precipitation in the model experiments arises from two different mechanisms in the first two mechanisms the first involve uv changes the second involve the second total solar evidence So like yeah. Here he is my brother. In addition, the solar plus ozone change leads to increased tropical stratospheric warming in the mid to upper stratosphere during solar maximum conditions. Higher latitudes during southern hemisphere winter receive no such augmentation and the increased latitudinal temperature gradient results in stronger stratospheric wind, west winds via the interaction of these wind changes and planetary waves propagating up from the troposphere the circulation in the stratosphere weakens a response characterized by greater re relative upwelling in the southern hemisphere extra, extra tropics and more downwelling in the northern extra tropics this don't really have the tendency to extend into the troposphere limiting convention and rainfall during northern hemisphere summer at these latitudes producing drier conditions this effect is seen in some paleoclimate records and has been attributed to solar influence so in other words, it's going to be a change in the atmosphere in the earth with less activity in the sun. The Lord said he made all things and it was good. Alright? All these big words are using. It's just going to be a change in the atmosphere right now. Right? Total solar evidence changes, though of small magnitude, do appear to affect sea surface temperatures, most obviously. At latitudes where cloud cover is small and evidence is abundant, such as the northern hemisphere subtropics during summer. The increased sea surface temperatures then help intensify circulation spiraling away from the subtropics, again favoring reduced rainfall near the equator and to the south as well as northern mid latitudes. So if it's reduced rainfall, which means um, it could now it could bring drought. It can bring drought. You see? And some parts of the world are already under drought. You see? Uh, as well as northern mid latitudes. Uh, right, so you get the point. You see? You, you get the point. Um, you get the point. With the Lord said he made all things, and behold, it was good. And that was in the beginning. All right?
so there's a purpose for everything the Lord created. Alright? Genesis 1 31 and the power saw everything that he had made and behold it was very good and the evening and the morning were the sixth day so and was one of them the sun Genesis 1 and 14 uh, what do you get there so like here Gen Genesis 1 Genesis 1 and um 14 and the power said let there be lights in the firmament of heaven to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years and let them be for lights in the firmament of heaven to give light upon the earth and it was so and the powers made two great lights the greater light to rule the day which is the sun and the lesser light to rule the night he made the stars also all right so the sun has a very intricate part in the earth with less activity it means it's going to be drought um, the conditions of the, uh, the weather conditions um, are going to change right and all these are signs Isaiah 13 Isaiah chapter 13 verse um, ten. For the stars of heaven, because the sun is also a star. Alright? And the constellation thereof shall not give their light. The sun shall be darkened in its going forth, and the moon shall not cause her light to shine. This is ultimately during the coming of our Lord. Right? But as you see as you see right here there's less activity with the sun less activity is happening now with the sun all right which is going to cause severe changes in the weather uh, it's going to help increase the drought which will bring famine which also will bring disease because it can be a lot of bacteria so I mean, like I said, I read the scripture, everything the Mosai created, it was good. And that's the sun, the moon, the star, everything has a purpose under the heaven. You see? So, this is a short video I wanted to do. All praises to Yahweh, Shimei, Abishai.